guys, welcome to our next lesson. Today, um, we're gonna be doing Yankee Doodle, Mysterious Procession, and if you're happy and you know it. So in Yankee Doodle, <clears throat> it's introducing a new note here in the left hand, in the bass clef, and that's G. So G lives in the top space of the bass clef. Um, so if you look at the first measure of the third line of Yankee Doodle, it's the second note. That's your new G. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try playing this. The position for this song is instead of your thumbs sharing the middle C, it's asking you to put your left hand thumb on B. So if you look at the first measure of the second line, it indicates a one underneath that B and that means your left hand has to go there. So let's try this song together. So it's C, C, B, B, C, B, D for two. C, C, D, B, C for two, B for two. C, C, B, B, F, B, D, C, B, G, A, B, C for two. So that's Yankee Doodle. Um, the next one is Mysterious Procession. This song is um, just five notes or five keys, A, B, C, D, E. But it's playing notes together, so treble clef and bass clef together at the same time. So if you look at measure three of the song, <clears throat> You have an A for two counts in the left hand, and then you have an E in the right hand, and you have two quarter notes. So the first strike together, and then your left hand holds, because it's two beats while this plays the two quarter notes. So again, watch that first part. It's together, right? Then the next one would be B and E together, right? Then the next one would be C and E together, then B and E. Okay? So let's try from the beginning of the song. The first two measures are super simple. It's just eight E's, right? Here we go. Ready? And. Now, at the bottom of the page, if you look at music, it says play Mysterious Procession also this way. Place the right hand an octave higher and the left hand an octave lower. An octave <clears throat> means to play eight notes or eight keys in a certain direction. So if you go up eight keys, that means you play on this E. And then if you go down eight keys, it means your left hand is here. So you can also practice it like this. And I'd like you to, just so you get used to kind of separating your hands out. So I'm going to start on measure three, just so you can kind of see how it's going to go. Okay, and so on and so forth. So practice your hands up the octave and down the octave also. Okay, so if you're happy and you know it, this is going to introduce a tie. Okay, um, if you look at the third full measure over the word hands, so right here, hands, you have a four count note, you have a whole note, and you have the swoopy line, and it's tied 
to a half note, which is two counts. You play this D for six beats, so you don't restrike the key here. So we kind of talked about the tie before, um, I think in uh, Tarantella, but this here is a tie also. Okay, so E tied to E, and then down here at the bottom, C to C. Okay, so let's try this song. So this is asking you to put your third finger on G. So again, not your thumb sharing middle C, you're down one. So let's try this song. G, G, C, 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 B, C, D, two, three, four, tie for two. those three you've got your new note G and you have your tie and you have up an octave and down an octave and you have playing hands together at the same time so kind of a lot to throw at you but I think you can handle it so practice those three all right I'll see you next lesson